Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. (laughs) Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Claudia, listen to me. Was it necessary to come all the way downtown just to buy a coffee pot? You could have got one uptown. Midges had a sale. Four eighty instead of five dollars. Our combined car fare was forty cents, to say nothing of the time we spent. And I, like a fool, let myself be talked into. It it. was the principle of the thing. The principle cost you twenty cents. Why don't we go across 34th Street? Why are we going this way? Shorter. Further. This is a one-way street. The other way. Anyway, we're not an automobile. Uh Uh-oh. Look where you're going. I am. You're not. You nearly broke your neck. What's the matter with you? Haven't you and David patched up your quarrel? Yes, but I unpatched it again. Mama, I just don't darn well, and that's that. Learn. I don't seem to. I start out all right, and it all looks all beautiful and crisscross, and then suddenly it's just a great big bunch. David says it feels just like a pebble in his shoe. I don't doubt it. Oh, and Mom, and then the coffee. What about the coffee? It boils away. Why do you let it? How can I help it? It's as much David's fault as mine. We get talking, and first thing you know, there isn't any coffee. You shouldn't talk so much. I know. It's happened twice this morning, too. Second time we weren't talking. David wasn't even speaking to me. How could you let it happen twice, you little dope? I didn't. I was watching it carefully, and then suddenly the, 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 the pot was empty. Nonsense. A watched pot doesn't even boil, much less boil away. This one did. You see, the first time it boiled away, it got a little hole in it. It was just a, a little hole. Ooh, Claudia, a hole is one thing that is just as big, little, as big. I know it now. Well, all I can say is your marriage certainly is on the rocks. Did David threaten to divorce you? Everything but. And if you don't think he's mad at you... Me? What have I done? Telling me to give him prunes. He won't forget that in a hurry. Tell him I beg his pardon. Uh, Just a moment, if you please. What are you stopping for? Because I suddenly realized that this is the street the pet shop is on. Pet shop? Oh, is it? I didn't notice. What a coincidence. And I fell for it. Now, aren't you glad? Look, Mama, the the, the monkey's still in the window. In the window? Yes, yes, he is. Look, 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 Look at the way he's scratching himself. Oh, isn't he cute? And he he bites men, too. Just the thing to take your marriage off the rocks. I've changed my mind, Mama. I don't think we'd be happy with a monkey. I'm not certain that a monkey would be happy with you. Come, 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 come along now. Hey, now, wait a minute. If you don't think we're going in to look at that dog, as long as we're here, come on, Mama. We are not. After the man brought it all the way into town for us to see? Aren't you ashamed? He was bringing it into town anyway. Oh, come on, come on, come on. It won't hurt just to see, will it? Well, if you're asking me, the answer is yes. Oh, all right. We'll just look and no monkey business. I told you I decided against the monkey. Come on in, Mama. It won't hurt just to look. Mm, except that it takes five years off my life every time you look at something. Well, 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 look who's here. Good afternoon, ladies. I knew you'd be back. Then, sir, you knew more about my plans than I did myself. Well, you're back, aren't you? I'm afraid so. And the Major's waiting for you. The Major? The Major. That's what his name is. The dog, Major. But I don't see him. Either do I. Where is he? I got him tied up in the backyard. He's too big to keep in the shop. Uh, Sort of, you know. Uh, Wait a minute. I'll go get him. Well, that's a load off my shoulders. What? If this animal's too big to keep in the store, he's too big for your apartment. Oh, dear, Major, slow down. I'll take it. Oh, watch out, ladies. Here he comes. Look, Claudia. How are you going to play? Down, Major. Oh, 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 are you Here, Major. Down, Major, now. Bad boy, lie down there. Oh, dear, oh, my. I'm awfully sorry, lady. Uh, that was a bad bump. Yes, I, I mean, no. I just went down all of a sudden. I mean, he put his paws on my shoulder, and here I am on the floor. Oh, you know, let me help you up. Are you hurt? No, but I'm glad he didn't have for you, Mama. So am I. Well, come on, Major. I'll put you back in the yard where you belong. I bring you all the way in from Long Island for Lady to see you, and that's the way you act. Oh, 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 oh
He was just friendly, wasn't you? Oh, Mama, look at his eyes. Aren't they beautiful? And his coat's just like silk. And he's enormous. Is he gentle? Gentle. You can put your hand right in his mouth. Go on, though. Put your hand in his mouth. He won't bite. No, no, no. no thank you. I'll take your word You for know, it. the more I look at him, the bigger he gets. He must be the biggest dog there is, isn't he? If there's any bigger, I ain't met him. This here dog weighs close to 200 pounds. 200? Well, 150 anyways. You're sure he's a dog? He looks more like a lion. He's a Newfoundland, ma'am. 100% Newfoundland. Looks like 120% to me. He has the face of an angel. It is a he, isn't it? He's a he, all right. That's good. Claudia, of what possible interest can that be to you? I think David would prefer a manly dog. Claudia, you're, you're not intending by any chance to buy him. Am that, I? That, you that... bet I am. If he doesn't cost a fortune. Lady, that dog's worth $500. Yes, sir, that's what the fella paid them, $500. $500. What fella? Fella that owns a millionaire, lives up on Park Avenue, name is Morgan, Augustus Morgan. Oh, then the dog's not for sale. That's different. Oh, he certainly is a beautiful doggy, isn't he? Oh, aren't you making a nice old mate? Oh, he's for sale, all right. Though oh. maybe for sale ain't the right expression. He's practically being given away. Given? Get that mm-hmm. bargain look out of your eye, Claudia. Oh, he's a bargain, all right. You see, this fellow Morgan leaves him here last week and says, my wife won't let me keep the dog. <laughs> Find a good home for him and just get enough out of it to pay your expenses. So, that's the story, miss. And you can have the dog for $25. That's what I figured it cost me in damages and hamburgers this last oh, week. For $25? And he weighs about 200 pounds. I'll take it, Claudia. You don't buy dogs by the pound. And if his former owner couldn't afford to keep him, you and David certainly can. Who's this Mr. Morgan's wife, Mama? David hasn't got a wife like that. If you buy that dog, David won't have a wife at all. He'll divorce you for a lunatic. He'll not only wreck your marriage, he'll wreck the apartment. Mama, couldn't I just try? Couldn't I just take him on approval? <laughs> That's an idea. Leave me your name and address, and uh, and if you like the dog, you can send me a check. That's wonderful. Can you trust us? Of course, of course. You two ladies look as honest as the day is long. <laughs> Get anything to identify yourself? Uh, let me see now. I, uh, I've got my name pinned inside my coat pocket. Why? I don't know. Mom always made me do it. Why? I don't know. I never asked her. Mama, why did you want me to carry my name in my pocket? So if you got lost, you could find yourself, I guess. More or less. Well, it's as good a way as any to identify yourself. But I guess nobody would think up a stunt like that to cheat a man out of a dog. Here it is. You can see it. I could if I could read upside down. You read it to me. Uh, Claudia Brown, 117 East. Claudia <laughs> Brown, 117 East. Oh, that's not my name. I changed it. You changed it? Naturally. Don't sound natural to me. Uh, I got married. Oh, you got married. Mm-hmm. That's good and natural. Well, I hope you remember to feed him. My husband? I was thinking mainly about the dog. Claudia, before you get your life involved with this... this monster, wouldn't it be wise to reconsider? Reconsider what? He's beautiful. Start with a bowl of goldfish. Oh. Nice goldfish. Fish aren't animals. Canaries are nice. They're not animals either. Kittens. How about kittens? I adore them, but my husband isn't crazy about cats, I don't think. Well, a lot of men aren't. Then again, a lot of men are. Depends on the man, I imagine. Yep. And I think it'll have to be major, Claudia. May I ask how you intend to get this this creature home, carry him? He'd go on a taxi, lady. He loves taxis. That's a bless. We'd better buy him a collar and leash. The one he's got goes with him, lady. You mean I can just walk out with him? Nothing to stop you. And I'll be expecting a check for the dog tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I'm sure it'll be the check. And I'm sure it'll be the dog. <laughs> Hey! Hi there, anybody home? Oh, David, I, I didn't hear you. What's the matter? No kiss. David. Look here, are you going to be one of those wives that's always carrying a grudge? Huh? I am not. Well, that's a relief. Here, I bought you something. Oh, lovely. I bought you something, too. You did? Mm Mm-hmm. Three guesses what it is? Uh, animal, vegetable, or mineral? It's animal. What kind of animal? Well, it's a long story Well, make it short. Well, you see, David, listen, I... David, I wanted to cement our marriage. You wanted to do what? 
Well, you went off without even kissing oh, me. I'm sorry. That, that, that's why I bought you the candy. And that's why I bought you the dog. The what? Dog. Did I hear you correctly? Did you say dog? Yes. Claudia, listen to me. There are two things in a man's life that he has to pick out for himself. One of them is his dog. I know, but you see, I happened to pass a pet shop. You bought a and... dog at a pet shop? Well, you don't think I bought him at a drugstore? I don't know. Oh, well, we can return him, darling. But won't you just look at him first? All right. I suppose it's one of those anemic toy white poodles. No, it's it's a, a, a little bigger than a toy poodle. Well, where is it? Let's see it. Locked up in the bedroom. Now, David, wait, wait. I'll, I'll open the door, and you you better stand with your back against the wall. Why? Because you'll see why. Hey! Hey! Johnny, hey, knocked you over. Oh, he always does that. Are you hurt? Oh, sure, I'm hurt. I won't be able to sit down for a week. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come give him a chance, will you? Come on. He's just playing. <laughs> Glad to know it. Holy smokes, let me look at him. Why, you are a monster. That's what Mama said. Oh, Mama's right, as usual. Claudia, how did you get a dog like this in a pet shop? Well, we'll take him back, darling. Don't get excited. Over my dead body, we'll take him back. <coughs> He's magnificent. Look at those... Look at that compliment. You know what? You've got good taste in husbands and better taste in dogs. David, you like it? Do I like it? I've always wanted either a Dane or a Newfoundland. <coughs> I'd say, these dogs are pretty expensive, he aren't they? He cost over $500. Ouch. That's a lot of a dog for our savings account. But the man only charged me $25. 25 Yeah. That's giving them away. I know it is. He was a special sale because, you see... Because why? Oh, he's not vicious or anything. You see, it isn't the initial cost, it's the upkeep. And I bought five pounds of hamburger for him. Well, uh, four and a half pounds, really. I left out half a pound for us. Are you trying to tell me that we... Can't keep him? Oh, David, I want to, but I was afraid you wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'll work my fingers to the bone for the old boy. Hey, come on over here, old pup. <laughs> Don't knock me over again. Why, he's only a party. Come on, David, watch the table. Okay, mate. So you want to fight, huh? Well, I'm not sure. Come on, come on. Get in and fight. <laughs> Oh, it's the house telephone. I'll go. <laughs> take it easy, boy. Take, take it easy. Now. Hello? Yes? Oh, no. I, I don't know what it can be, but I'll uh, I'll see if I can stop it. I'm awfully sorry. Bye. Who was it? The people downstairs. What do the people downstairs want? They want to know what's going on upstairs. Their chandeliers are falling down. <laughs> All story material used in this broadcast of Claudia was under the supervision of Rose Franken and William Brown Maloney. Has it occurred to you, lady, that you can order Coca-Cola by the case now and get it? It's not a bad idea, you know, to keep an ample supply of Coke on hand. You never can tell when Junior will want to treat his school team or daughter will ask the crowd over for a Coke party. In your housework, too, it's nice to work refreshed with ice-cold Coca-Cola. When you shop, have your grocer or service station put a case of Coca-Cola in your car. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir, and remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola, for ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. <laughs>